Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. Check it out, exotic swords. Finally, a week later, we are able to craft these awesome blades. And this one is the Ark version, Bolt Caster. But how do you get it? Well, once again, I am back with another exotic quest guide to teach you guys exactly what you need to do in order to get one of these awesome blades. If you guys do enjoy this video or you find it helpful, then it'd be amazing if you could leave a like and subscribe if you're not already for more Destiny videos. So, how do you get these? Well, first of all, in order for this to work, you're going to need to have the legendary version of the sword. And if you want to know how to get that, then I've already made a guide, which I'll link down below. So be sure to check that one out if you haven't already got a sword. Once you have got your sword, however, in order to trigger the next phase, you need to infuse it with a more powerful weapon to bring the attack stat up to 280 or above. When you do that, if you inspect the sword, you'll see it has an additional node that gives it more ammo. Complete this node and Shax will allow you to begin the quest called A Sword Reforged. To begin with, you get the quest Holding the Edge. This requires that you use the sword against mages or ultras and also against guardians in the crucible. You need 50 major kills and 25 guardian kills. Now pro tip here, if you don't want to waste your heavy ammo, you can still kill with the hilt of this sword. So when in the crucible, I'd suggest going to rumble and if you want to make it even easier, going with a couple of friends because then you can run around with only your hilt and while it does still take two hits to kill, it shouldn't take you too long. I think I did it in about four or five matches. As for the mages, I just went onto the Cosmodrome Patrol, went down underground at the beginning and killed the three that spawn in the corner. You then run to the back of the corridor, turn around, go back and kill again. Repeat this until you've done 50. Now once that's done, you'll get the quest Blade of Night, which asks you to draw out and defeat Ekthor, Sword of Oryx, in the Asylum on the Dreadnought. Now the Asylum is the location you go to during the Dark Blade Strike, however you can actually access it in patrol. See when you enter this room here, you'll find three yellow life bar knights that go by the name Warden's Knight. Each of them has a different elemental shield, but in order to open the door, you need to kill all three of them either at the same time or within a very short space of time. Personally, I'd recommend doing this with a full fire team because each of you can kill one of the three knights. That being said, I did also do this with just two of us. We simply burned down the knight in the middle till it was really low on health. We then killed the left and the right knights and then we jumped in the middle and finished that one off. Do it right and the door at the back will open. You work your way into the room, kill the adds and you'll see Ekthar, Sword of Oryx. You need to kill this guy using your sword because bullets don't seem to do anything, but once that's done, you then return to Lord Shax and you get the quest Essential Elements. Plus, it's now marked as an exotic quest. This bit, however, is the long bit. You now need to go and get some special super rare materials that correspond to your blade, and also ability kills with the corresponding element. So for me, I chose Arc, so I had to collect Zeptocyte cores. Now these come from gathering spin metal, and it seems that every 5-10 spin metal you gather, you get one Zeptocyte core. The same thing will apply for helium filaments or relic iron, you'll also get your own unique material. In total I gathered about 150 spin metal to get my 10 cores, so that kind of goes to show sort of how long it can take. As for the ability kills, I just simply went to the moon, to the good old We've Woken the Hive mission, and I used my blade dancer super, melee and grenades, over and over again. I think I killed just over 800 enemies in about 50ish runs, so it does take quite a while but once that's done, you return to Shaxx and you then get the quest Arms Day Alloys, and it tells you to wait till Arms Day for the delivery of some materials. Now, Arms Day is Wednesday, and that is today, so when you boot up Destiny, that section of your quest will actually automatically complete, and you then return to Shaxx for the final phase, stealing the blade. This will then send you back into a special version of the Sunless Self Strike to take on Darkblade, only this time the recommended light for this is actually 300, which is insane because that is actually higher than the normal raid. The task this time is to kill a special Ultra Knight and a la cool of the Darkblade within 30 seconds of each other. It's not kill them in 30 seconds, it's kill them within 30 seconds of one another. Now if you're on the Arc Blade quest like me, the target is Thrak. He's a high sword knight with an Arc Shield, and he spawns first during the fight. However, soon after him, the Void Knight will spawn and he's a boomer, followed by a Solar Knight who is also a boomer. Now, all these knights will spawn during the fight. However, if you are only there for one of your swords, you can kill the other two and not worry about it. If you are doing this with friends, for all three elemental swords, it is honestly much easier if you do it one at a time. Yes, it will require that you repeat the strike, but trying to keep three powerful knights alive, as well as fighting Darkblade, as well as avoiding the adds, and as well as not dying, is pretty damn hard. Either way, however you decide to do it, the most important thing is you need to kill your target first before Darkblade. This is extremely important. When I did this the first time, I killed Darkblade and then my target, and the quest did not complete. So get your target and then Darkblade down to super low health, then when you're confident you can finish them both off in 30 seconds, take out the knight, then Darkblade, and if you've done it right, the quest will complete. You then return to Shax and you pick up your shiny new sword. What's even better is that it doesn't replace your legendary one, so you now have two. And that, my friends, is it. That is what you need to do to get your exotic sword, and I'll have some gameplay of this sword fully leveled up on my channel shortly after this video. But for the time being, that is it. Thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.